Okay, welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. I'll spit it out. It's early in the morning here. So I've got the um, extruder, extruder calibrator installed. I'm going to push some filament in. As you can probably see up in one of the corners, I'm, I'm superimposing the Wanhao um, screen. So um, you can see what it's reading. So we're at about 216. I've just used the, uh, the preheat setting on the Wanhao and removed the, the filament and pushed it back through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to extruder, extruder position. And I'm going to push, push through about 11 millimeters of plastic, and so that's kind of primed it. So what we're going to do? So we have also got, I've got a metal and accurate um, machinist scale metric that I'm going to use also and I knocked the camera over for the uh, that's watching the one house screen so what I'm going to do is at the top of this I'm going to make a mark on the filament and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run about Oh, we'll see how the uh, extruder reacts, but I'm going to probably run about uh, 20, so 31, so that should now push 20 millimeters of plastic through and I don't think I got 20 millimeters of plastic through so if I measure that so because I'm measuring to the bottom of this eh, actually pretty close I actually pushed through about 18 millimeters. So I want to do this again. So again, I'm going to do measure to the bottom. So I'm going to mark this. And I'm going to go back to the extruder setting and extruder position. So I'm going to push another, I'm going to push, um, try to push 33 this time. So that's going to mean 61 on the scale. And it's moving it through. Okay, so 61, and that finishes, that should be about 30, and kind of hard to see in this light, I'd say that's pretty darn close to 30 millimeters. That's, wow, yeah. That's pretty close to 30 millimeters that it just pushed out. I don't think I can really complain about that. I mean, it's like within about a millimeter, and it's kind of hard to read it that, that far away. But uh, it does seem like it's pushing it through at the right setting. So let's take a quick look. So I want to show you guys also configuration is where they hide the stuff so if we go extruder 
and right now steps per millimeter is 96 uh, starting frame is 20 I'm not sure what some of this is acceleration is how fast it, it'll take off I'm not sure what slab time is weight time units weight temperature control dead time so there's a ton of settings in here and I can't say I understand them all um, but this is where you would go to set it and actually um, the steps is it, the steps are where um, is what we would change now I want to go back to I'm gonna try this one more time So we're going back to, to extruder, and we'll go extruder position, and this time I'm, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to push out 40 and see where it goes. So, so that'd be 101 on the scale. I'm getting quite a, <laughs> quite a pile of PLA on the bed. Okay, so there we are. Go, we have 40. And I gotta say, that's pretty. That's pretty close for government work. I would have to say that that pretty much set so I don't think there's too much to change here because I'm w w within the tolerance of what I can read on the scale to, to the bottom of that I am within one millimeter of the size so I I'm not going to change anything on this so um, what I think I'll do is maybe go look at a little bit of the math of this for you guys and but I've shown you where to change it on on the on the one how on the configuration setting but this to me is looking like it's you know pretty much spot on so I'm not gonna mess with it so let's uh, let's let's jump over take a look at some brief math on the computer and uh, then we'll basically call it a day so uh, I'll put this up on Thingiverse. This has worked very well. I've, I've, I've been happy with this. This has kept the filament pretty straight. Um, in general, it's indexed because you can kind of see where I started up here at 4. It pretty much lines up. It could be a little bit prettier. Um, actually, actually, what I think I'm going to do is split this on my um, DaVinci with dual extruders and print out a this this is white and the numbers is red or something but nah, that's a you know project for another day anyways um, hey hopefully you found this interesting so uh, let's go take a look at some of the numbers and then we'll go from there okay welcome back so we've popped into the computer here and uh, I've come up with a couple different ways to work out the math for this kind of share two different directions you know, in the first we're going to be multiplying out and dividing out, and then the second we're just simply going to be dividing down. So in the first scenario, what we're going to take a look at is with the Wan Hao, um, as you recall, I have 96 steps is what it's come set from the factory at per millimeter of plastic, which it will extrude. So in short, what we do is we take, we, we extrude 20 millimeters of plastic, we multiply that by 96, and we come out to a total of 1920 total steps so what this says is the controller is going to uh, send 1920 steps to the extruder stepper motor to push out an estimated 20 millimeters of planned plastic well 
we take that number, then we take our measurement of 19.5, and again, I'm using this for example, say, because it was mm, pretty close to 20, so we'll just say it was 19.5, for example, and then we divide that out, and what happens is we come up with an adjusted step of 98.4. Now, I believe the Wan Hao only accepts whole numbers, so you would enter 98 uh, into the Wan Hao and save it in, in the configuration settings for your adjusted um, step rate per millimeter of plastic. Now the other tact I used was down here where I took uh, 19.5 millimeters of actual plastic fed through and then uh, 20 of, of planned feed and then I divided the two out which gave me 0.975 millimeters per, per 96 steps. So when the controller sent 96 steps it got 9.75 millimeters instead of one millimeter so what we do is we inverse this and we say 96 steps divided by 0 0.975 and the result is 98.4 steps or the same that we received up here so again we would enter that into the Wan Hao uh, as our new uh, steps per inch and again if you're over extruding it can works you know in short the same way mathematically so you would come out with an inverse number or somewhat lower number than the 96 and that's how you would set it so hopefully this helped um, you know explain a little bit of the settings of uh, you know how to you know set the number of steps uh, per millimeter of plastic in your one how and, and again this will work for pretty much any printer out there so it's not just one how centric so again if this helped you out give it a thumbs up subscribe and more to come soon cheers and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects